Autism is a development disorder that affects an individual's ability to socialize and communicate. Asperger's syndrome is part of the autism spectrum, but it differs because usually individuals diagnosed with Asperger's have normal to higher IQs. Overall though, both have many overlapping similarities, and it is still being debated today as to whether or not the two terms need to exist as separate diagnoses. Our mission is to break down stigmas, myths, and misconceptions associated with autism. Many of our viewers have expressed concerns about the misunderstandings that surround this disorder, so we want to provide support to them and raise awareness. Here are five facts you need to know about autism. 1. Symptoms and Signs of Autism Before we begin with this point, we want you to know that it's never a good idea to self-diagnose. Please visit a health professional in order to receive reliable insights. According to Autism Speaks, more than 2 million people have autism spectrum disorder, and 1 in 59 of those people are children. Statistics also show that autism affects more boys than girls. The signs that health professionals look for in patients include social challenges, communication difficulties, and repetitive behavior. Children with autism have trouble responding to social cues, such as returning a wave to someone or being responsive when someone calls their name. They also have higher disinterest in people starting at a young age, experience a delay in learning speech, and have trouble reading body language. For instance, if someone is mad and crosses their arms, or expresses impatience by tapping their foot, people with autism can't pick up on that right away. They also tend to follow strict, rigid schedules and struggle with change. People with autism have few, specific interests that they are intensely devoted to. 2. Causes of Autism Researchers have discovered that there are many factors that influence the development of autism. One of them involves a specific gene that causes it. Other factors that are non-genetic related involve environmental risks and events that happen before or during pregnancy. For instance, a baby may be susceptible to developing autism if the mother breathed in high levels of air pollution while she was pregnant, or when the baby experiences a lack of oxygen in their brain. But none are certain, and scientists are still searching for a definitive cause. Ultimately, however, most adults with autism are less concerned with finding a cause than they are with being accepted and better understood by society. 3. Treatment Options Unlike many disorders, there is no medication that can specifically treat autism. Many people with autism use cognitive behavioral therapy in order to regulate their emotions and to work on their impulse control. There are also support groups they can join, speech therapists they can work with, and training sessions they can attend to build their social and motor skills. Related symptoms people with autism may experience, such as anxiety, depression, and ADD, can also be treated with the proper dosage prescribed by a health professional. 4. What teachers can do Educating children with autism can be highly challenging, but here are some helpful tips they can use. When creating lesson plans, learn about what your students with autism like. People with autism have very distinct interests, so if you can incorporate them to make your lessons interesting, this can help them engage with the material more. Another way is to allow for group discussions. Classroom discussions may be intimidating for students with autism, but one-on-one -on -one interactions is more approachable for them. It's also important to provide structure and a schedule for them to follow. Predictability is crucial. 5. What parents can do It's important for parents to remember that when their child has autism, they may have a hard time fitting in in school or relating to other children. Be mindful of their habits and teach them to love themselves for who they are. Provide a safe structure for them to thrive in and attend programs where you can stay educated on autism and enroll your child in classes where they can work on their skills. Recognize that it will be a challenging journey ahead, but with your love and support, it can go a long way towards the progress they make. Do you struggle with autism or know someone who does? Please share your thoughts with us below. We also provided some helpful sources you can check out in our description box. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel as well for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people to spread awareness on mental health issues. Thanks for watching!